All right, I'm gonna show you how to turn one piece of content into five pieces of content. Now I'm starting with a YouTube thumbnail that has already been designed using your brand standards. And we're gonna use this to identify the recurring themes and visual elements that we can reuse in our other five pieces of content. So let's say we're starting with YouTube and now we need a click to play thumbnail to drive traffic from a newsletter to that YouTube page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate this page since we're gonna need the exact same artboard. I'm working in Canva right now because it's really easy to DIY your graphics in here. So what I like to do is just overlay a black square on top of it, reduce that opacity a little bit so that it looks like we can put a play button on top. And I'm just gonna add some really quick text. All right, so there's one option. That's one piece of content. Okay, now let's say we need to create a blog thumbnail because we're turning this video transcript into a blog post. So I've opened up a square canvas in Canva and I'm gonna just copy over some of these elements. And we're gonna pick and choose what we wanna use. So this originally had a pink background so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach this image from its frame and I'm going to use Canva's really handy editing tool and I'm going to remove the background for it. Okay, now, so now I've got an image. I've got my title. I'm probably going to condense this to three lines instead of four so that it fits across the graphic a little better. Choosing the right course for your... Okay, so I'm now I'm staggering these guys so that it looks pretty similar to what I've got in my YouTube card. I'm just going to make this larger to take up some more space. I'm going to send it behind this image and I'm going to make the text size on this larger. And you know what, just for some color and to bring in a little bit of decoration to the space, I'm going to go ahead and add that second color block that was on the original YouTube graphic. I'm going to make her larger, take up a little more space. You know what? I actually think this four lines are going to fit better. So I'm just going to copy this over, reduce that text size, and get rid of the elements that we don't need. Okay, so we have our blog thumbnail, but now we gotta create our third piece of content, which is the Instagram thumbnail, because we're gonna share a clip from the YouTube video to our Instagram feed. I'm gonna copy over the YouTube card graphics again, just so I have everything in its original state, and just so I have that to work with. Now, what I really like to do is, I love keeping title styles the same. I think it's super easy and super recognizable, but I also like to give these graphics something that makes it look like a video so that if you're scrolling through an Instagram feed, the videos, you know, if you're scrolling through your feed, the video is going to autoplay. But if you go to someone's Instagram profile and look at their profile, I want you to know that something's a video so that when you click on it, you're expecting something to play. So with that in mind, what I'm probably going to do is keep this image, keep this title, right? But I'm probably going to make this three lines so it fits with the space a little bit better but and then i'm going to release this image from its frame and what i'm going to do is kind of copy over what we did from our youtube newsletter graphic and i'm going to do something like this so that it looks like you can hit the post and have it play immediately or what i might do because i like the color here is i'm going to do some Play controls. Okay, I'm liking this. We're using all the same elements in the same colors, but we're just kind of rearranging things to fit the space a little bit better. And we're giving someone just an indication that you can play this, that it's going to be a video. Okay, so that's our third piece of content. Now we need our fourth one, which is a social graphic that's sharing one tidbit from the YouTube video. Maybe we're sizing this a little smaller because we want the takeaway itself to be the biggest tidbit. 
We're going to add some new text here. Now this is the first time I'm adding something really new here. So I'm keeping up with my brand standards. This is just my same brand font that I've been using throughout, but I'm going to replace this with a takeaway. Now we could do something that's like a big pull quote from the video. Could do something like this. Just center everything up really nice. I also like the option of pulling in maybe an icon there or something decorative that you might have used from that YouTube video and even an indication that it came from a YouTube video. It actually makes more sense here to put a logo. So again, I'm just kind of taking things from our original YouTube thumbnail and putting them in spots where it makes the most sense. Okay, so now I've got a little tidbit that goes really nicely with our Instagram post. So last piece that we're going to do is we're going to create some Pinterest images so that we can put it on our boards, share some of these takeaways, share all these things. So I'm going to create um, a new Canva document. Okay, so I've got my new Canva document. I've got it sized to my Pinterest graphic. Again, I'm gonna go back to that original YouTube thumbnail. I'm gonna copy over those elements. So we're not really trying to reinvent the wheel here. We're just gonna make sure that we can get as many graphics as possible from this one thing that's already been created. So again, I'm just gonna take what's already existing and I'm just gonna rearrange some things. Okay, so that's our second one. Now we're gonna work on a third one. The nice thing about working about these in succession is that you can take all the graphics from all the other elements and all the other posts that you've made. Now this is the first time that I am taking this text out of the text style, the title style that it has always appeared in. With Pinterest, you wanna make sure you get a lot of variety. So I'm gonna take a couple of creative liberties here. And again, use what you've already got. I'm taking this little icon from our YouTube thumbnail. All right, now we have five different Pinterest graphics using all the elements that we've already had for just rearranging things and moving things around, playing with scale a little bit and playing with that layout and getting five totally different Pinterest graphics and five totally different pieces of content.